Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is plug-in type general purpose relays. So right here we have a 110 volt coil right here and right here, and what that's going to do is it's going to basically um, open the contacts between here and here when it's powered, and then it's going to close the, the contacts between here and here when it's powered. This right here is a 24 volt uh, general purpose relay plug-in type. All right, so I just want you to know what this is so that you're not uh, maybe overwhelmed when you see them in the field and they just look different. Maybe you haven't seen them before. Maybe you're used to this type general purpose relay. All right, um, but uh, if you see these, I just want you to know they're pretty simple. And you just have a, on this one's a 24 volt coil uh, coming in. And that's what I have this transformer power to right now. It's a 24 volt coil. And we have our multimeter set on resistance. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in just so you can see um, this part right here is presently touching the top. So if this is the coil, these two right here, then what you would do is you would have power coming in here. And basically when you want something, a device to be powered, you would put the other wire from the device maybe here, okay? And when this coil powers, this right here is going to touch there. And if you follow the wire around, it comes right over to this side. So these types don't have wiring diagrams on them, like on the general purpose relays or fan control relays. It's just open so you can see where the wires are going. There's an electrical magnet inside when that occurs and uh, it pulls this contact, this metal down. So I'm just gonna power it for you just real quick so you can see it, and then we're gonna put our multimeter on after that. So right now it's powered. Right now it's not powered, not. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to put this multimeter on resistance, and I'm gonna put it right here, and I'm gonna put it right here, and we should have zero ohms of resistance roughly, okay, which we, which we do. Between here and here, we do not have any resistance, meaning that the it's not touching, okay? Um, the electrical contacts are not touching. The wire's coming over here and coming right over to this contact, all right? That's called the normally closed position, and this is the normally open position. Same thing down here. You have two sets on this one, so you can see it. There's not a third set on this one. This one's a 24-volt one. This one right here has three sets of contacts right here and right here. So it's just power in right here, here, and here. And then you're normally closed are the outside ones. Okay, you're normally closed are here and here, and you're normally open are here and here. So we're gonna go ahead and power this right now. You see right here to here is zero ohms of resistance. Okay, now I'm gonna power it, we're gonna check it again, and you'll see that it is then open. All right, so that's open now, and now that one's closed. Okay, so that's that, that's how it works. Same thing happens on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power off for a sec. Now the power's off to the transformer coming over to here. So if you do not see this, coming down and, and touching this contact right here, then it's likely that the coil is bad. On this one, we're gonna go ahead and unplug it. I'm gonna show you how to test resistance on these. Most components you can test with resistance in order to tell if they're bad. So I'm gonna maybe test it this way here. Okay, so you see it has 70 ohms of resistance. Okay, that's the coil. Here's the 120 volt one, and we're gonna test the coil. Remember the coil is closest to the mounting bracket. Okay, so it's gonna be closest to, say, where you're mounting it to uh, the, the side of the furnace or the air handler. This one is 1.63 uh, kilo ohms. So that's 1,632 ohms of resistance. Okay, so it's a lot higher resistance since it's being powered with 120 volts, okay? 
but that's what they are. They are general purpose relays. They're the plug-in style. Uh, if you're trying to look that look that up to, in order to get a replacement, okay? Spring loaded in order to keep these contacts closed. All right, I'm going to give you a little close up so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, this is the 24 volt plug-in style general purpose relay, and I'm going to go ahead and give it 24 volts to the coil. So you can see that it's making the power now go from here through the wire and then it's coming over to this second tap. When we unplug it, you have the power coming from here and going to this tap right here and no longer connecting to the middle one. Okay, This is the normally closed position, this tap and this tap and this is normally open. Relays are always stated in the uh, non-powered state, okay? So that's what this would be called, normally open contacts. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.